great to hook up with you. I'm looking forward to getting in, in, into your world of consulting. But before we do that, I want to know one of the more momentous things that's happened in our lifetime is the pandemic that started about four years ago. And I'm yes. curious, how did you make it through that time period? And how did it change the way that you do things now? Yeah, so um, that was actually a big, uh, big change in our company. Actually, it sparked a big change in our company. Um, we had an office in Vista. We were um, operating as a as a crew, as a team. We had uh, in-person interactions with all of our employees. Uh, and during the pandemic, we were forced to uh, revisit that as, um, you know, early in the pandemic, I decided to just shut the doors and tell everyone to work remotely. So that's what we did. It was uh, really intimidating at that point, but um, but we were able to figure it out quickly. Uh, all my employees already had laptops, so the transition taking their laptops home wasn't such a big deal. Yeah, and I'm a I'm a really techie kind of guy, so um, all of our uh, platforms were already online, our project management systems and everything. So uh, everyone was working home, and we we were able to make an adjustment. Um, meetings were are very important for our consulting firm because we need to all be coordinated. And But we were able to use uh, different uh, online platforms to, to still meet with the team to come up with solutions together. And now, as a result of the pandemic, I've actually, our team has quadrupled in size. Wow. So... Yeah, and it it it's all mainly possible to the pandemic because otherwise we were mainly focused on keeping our systems, you know, uh, on paper or um, and they weren't quite as streamlined. We were forced to make a more streamlined company um, as a result, and I was able to come up with those systems and easily to grow the team into what it is now. So yeah, it actually turned out well. Right on, so let's get to the heart and soul of what you do with your company. I'm gonna put you in front of a bunch of third graders for career day. One of the kids says, hey, what do you do for a living? How do you answer that child? All right, well, so our um, company is an MEP consulting firm and M, the M is for mechanical, elect E is for electrical, P is for plumbing. These are all the system types that we design for the construction industry, for different various buildings in the construction industry. So um, we do engineering and consulting. As, a, as an engineer, what we do is we will take an, an architect's building or floor plans, and we will overlay our systems on top of those. So for mechanical it would entail the HVAC systems, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Um, and electrical would entail the power and the lighting uh, systems. And plumbing would entail the waste, vent, hot water, cold water, and natural gas and other any other plumbing systems that you would have. And so we have to take our design, make sure it's relevant to the uh, overall building architecture and come up with a, a design that works for the requirements. And as consultants, um, we come up with solutions. So we take off our designing hat and we come up with a problem solving hat for coming up with solutions to an owner's um, requirements, to the contractor's requirements, uh, to come up with the best design uh, best systems and something that would make sense for the type of construction. So talk to me a little bit about what you wanted to be in the third grade. What was your dream? My dream, uh, I, I've always been into computers, even as a younger kid. So I was wanted to be a game developer, game designer, or a uh, or just a lifelong computer game player. <laughs> so is that kind of how you got into being an entrepreneur and getting into engineering? Was that fascination with technology early on? How how did those seeds become you? So uh, my my father started this MEP consulting firm 
when I was, when I was like a little kid in grade school in the eighties. Yeah. Um, and so his, uh, his, the, his drive to own a business that really, um, that really showed me what are the possibilities. Um, and just with my fascination with computers, um, I knew that I wanted to get into not necessarily what my father was doing, but I wanted to get into computer and electrical design. So um, that that made me to pursue my degree in electrical engineering. Uh, but then, and I worked for the government for a while. I did, um, uh, for the federal government, I did software development. So I used my computer uh, science hat for that. And uh, in the government, it was a, it was a uh, defense contractor that actually, from there, I was able to start working on different electrical systems for um, for this uh, for satellite and uh, radar detection systems, and so then I started shifting my focus into electrical design, and then the opportunity came up where I I wanted to get back in with uh, do something with my dad. So that really got me uh, to focus in getting my engineering license. And at that point, uh, I was able to go back and we were able to form a, a full MEP engineering team. Right on. So, yeah. Cool. So who's been kind of a hero for you? Has it been your dad? Yeah, my dad is definitely one of my heroes. Uh, he's He's been able to, uh, he's uh, always on his toes, um, able to think through problems and problem solver uh and he never lets the stress get to him so he's definitely one of my top heroes um i have other heroes as well uh, but uh one is one is my um my karate sensei so i'm doing karate and he's uh a mentor to me he's um you know very very level minded uh very focused uh and he gives me a lot of coaching gets me through a lot of my business decisions um so that's another one of my heroes um yeah so talk to me a little bit about running a company like you run all of these things that you do when it comes to electrical mechanical plumbing all these things those are the cornerstones of every single building that we walk into what is it about the company that you run, the services that you provide that the civilians may not understand? What you do on the back end to make all of these buildings come together and seem like it's a seamless operation? Yeah, there's uh, yeah, there's quite a bit involved there because um, we're working with different trades uh, outside of MEP. There's civil, there's structural, there's the architect, which... The architect puts everything together and then there's on the other side of things there's the the uh, the owner the owner is uh of course driving a lot of the main main requirements they have their own owner requirements so we have to put we have to put all these different pieces together um in order to come up with the best solution most pragmatic solution uh every field's every field is different every con field condition is different so um you know working as a team working with others there are constantly shifts in the design from the architect which we have to be able to quickly pick up and alter our systems to meet so there's a lot of a lot of changes going on constantly um and the yeah so the design definitely um is constantly uh, shifting but but it keeps us uh keeps us engaged um and and we're con we're able to when we're able to make something work at the end it's uh it's very satisfying satisfying so so on a cellular level as someone that's in charge of a company that's doing a lot of work on a regular basis and keeping employees happy what is the motivation for you every day to do the work that you do and to also evolve personally as a human? Right. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, this, the motivation is keeping these projects successful. I, we know the people behind the project, you um, are a lot of times are just, 
your standard business owners, homeowners, um, they are putting their life into this project. So really making it uh, a successful project is, is very important to us. Um, on the other hand, um, you know, it's it, another motivation is my legacy. Uh, my kids, my wife, I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing in the business side of things is to, to provide whatever they need for their, their future, their success. So those are those, um, two different factors really help me, uh, to get motivated and to, to do the best I can every day. So of all of these things that you've done with your life and become at this point, what are you the proudest of? Um, I would say just being able to balance everything, um, keeping, not losing focus on the important things such as, you know, day to day with the family, keeping that dedicated time, um, you know, making time to go, go places, take time out of the day. Um, as a, as a business owner, developing this company, when my dad, when my dad was running the company by himself, it was, it was a one man band. And now we've grown to 60 people in just since the time I started with him. So this was in 2007, 2008. So just being able to take that shift it into more of a streamlined business, um, that also makes me very happy and satisfied with what, um, what is, what has occurred. So let me ask you this, of being an entrepreneur, who is your favorite entrepreneur? Who is someone out there that's done a wonderful job in their, their business empire that you admire? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I would say there, there are quite a few other engineers in our field that are, that have been really motivating to me. Um, I, I, the way I've seen, uh, there's a um, another MEP engineering firm has done similar growth and taken his business to another level. Uh, he's been kind of from early on when I joined uh, Pro Engineering with my dad. I kind of had my sights on his growth and how he had developed his company. So that really allowed me to see the possibilities. So that was a big, big. Uh, big uh, factor in my decision to to really grow the company um and then outside of that i have a lot of mentors that are just um you know uh that i look up to and i see the ways that they've grown their companies so uh you know one of my one of my very good friends he's been able to take his company to a, a whole nother level and just seeing the dedication and what what factors he put into developing his business, that's what really um, I, I look up to and I, I strive to do the same thing. So at the end of the day, everyone has a perception of you, family, friends, clients, colleagues, but you run the show. What's your perception of you? Who do you think you are? Uh, I would say I, I'm a I'm a. Oh, deep thinker. I, I like to plan well ahead. Um, I want, I'm constantly thinking about the shifts of economy, shifts of technology. I um, am not just thinking for today. I'm thinking for five to 10 years from today. Um, and that's, that's the way I take my business. And that's the way I want to keep it going. So are are you hopefully going to pass this down? You want this company to stay alive for decades and decades like it already has? Yes, uh that's the that's the goal is um you know uh pass keep it in the family. Um I know my kids are my kids are still young, but if the goal the thing that would make me happy would be if if they decide if one of them would want to take it over and continue running it. Uh we've it's been built for 35 years so far, and it would be nice to be able to have it continue to future generations. 
So speaking of the business, if anyone out there wants to hire you, they want to reach out, learn more about what you're doing, what's the good business? Yeah, so we, uh, we're we on uh, different social media platforms, but a Google search will even come up with our company name. Uh, we we will, uh, yeah, we will give you, we'll talk to you about your, your project. We'll come up with the best solution and we'll give you a quote. You know, it's really easy to work with us. We have a good system, good procedure um, that will step you through from the beginning of the project to the end. So, yeah, just uh, you can reach out to us in many different ways. Excellent. This has been wonderful, man. Thank you so much for your story. Thank you for your time. Keep doing the great work, man. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate your time. Very yes, nice sir. to meet you. Nice to meet you.